I throw data into three big, broad categories. The first is data that describes situations. So is someone getting married? Are they expecting a baby? Are they starting a new job? Are they out of ketchup? Anything that describes an actual situation that somebody is in. That's bucket one. Bucket two, data describing behaviors. So what are your credit card payment habits? Obviously, that's very uh, relevant to me. But you know, what does is, what is your performance history look like as a player? Or what is your transaction history? Or what route do you take to work? All, these, all this data that describes how one behaves. And then the last category is around data describing interests and attitudes. So what are your preferences? What are your opinions? What do you like? What are you searching on online? So after I categorize data into these three categories, I think about it, you know, how valuable is all this data? And arguably, it's all valuable, right? So then the next question becomes, how easy is it to unlock the value in each of these categories? And so from my perspective, and what I've seen, it's very easy to unlock data that describes situations, because situations translates directly into needs, and I can do something about that, right? So that's the easiest. Then we have the data that describes behaviors. And the reason why behavior data is valuable is because past behavior is a really good indicator of future behavior. It's a good indicator. It's not perfect. So there's a margin of error you have to live with. And then you have to predict out what's going to happen in the future. And that requires a specialized skill set as well. So that makes it a little harder to unlock value compared to situation data. And then the last category here, interests and attitudes. This is definitely the hardest of the three. And I think there's a few things going on here. So the first is interests and attitudes at times don't materialize into anything. Right? Like, I'm really into boats. I, I always look at the Princess 60. That's a 60 foot yacht in the Princess. That's probably something I'm never going to buy. So, it's an interest that I have that's not going to materialize into anything, right? And so, the point there is there's a lot of noise that comes with this data that you need to deal with. And so, it makes it a little bit harder to unlock value. The other thing about interests and attitudes is what people say. And what people do sometimes is very, very different. So the best example I have here is when I worked for Indigo, we used to ask people, hey, tell me about you know, what categories do you like to read in? And I'll send you relevant offers, relevant recommendations, et cetera, et cetera. And so you look at the data. It's like, I like history. I like science. I like politics. But you know what the top sellers are, right? Fifty Shades of Grey, Twilight. Harry Potter, so you know what people say, what people do, very, very different. And the point there, again, a lot of noise in the system have to deal with that. 